Hello everyone and welcome back to a not so active dead man mode. Uh yeah, it's been a while since I recorded this and it's been for a lot of reasons. Uh, I kind of noted this a bit in my update video at the start of the year, but pretty much I recorded most of my original dead man videos back before December I think, when dead man mode was still a lot more hyped and uh, before I got back into uploading for all my channels. Since then I've been a lot more busy and I kind of haven't been doing as much of dead man mode. And I, when I have been playing, I've been playing my main on normal RuneScape or old school RuneScape. So, uh, yeah, I haven't had as much time and the hype kind of died down and I just haven't been as interested in playing Dead Man Mode as well. I still would like to continue my goals of working towards quests and all that stuff, but I've been a lot more interested in working on the achievement diaries and such on my main. So that's kind of the reason it's taking so long for this. And, uh, yeah, Dead Man Mode's also a bit dead. Uh, I really wouldn't say it's completely dead, but definitely has suffered a lot of activity loss, and uh, before it was actually getting more players in the PvP worlds, now it's a bit more dead, probably because of the poll recently that failed for most questions that would have helped revive it a bit. But I think most people are just waiting for seasonals and other changes, and I don't know. I still wouldn't say the mode's dead dead. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, since the last episode, I have been working on all the stuff I said I was going to work on. So if you look at my stats here, I'm a lot higher level than I was before. I was going for uh, 65 attack, 70 strength, and six, or 60 defense or something like that. But I didn't decide to stop because uh, off camera I did die. I have a screenshot and I should put it in the video right about now. But that yaks, I wasn't paying full attention. And then some uh, high levels came, ice barraged me, and then one specked me with a DDS because I really wasn't prepared for that. So since then I've been a lot more careful about what I've been doing because uh, I didn't want to die again. But uh, yeah, I've rebuilt since then and didn't really want to trouble doing a clip for that because I knew I was going to be rebuilding. But from now on, I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot off camera or like between episodes. Instead, I'll just start an episode and say, okay, I'm going to train and then do a clip after I trained or that kind of stuff. Because I don't know, for a progress series, it doesn't work the same as other videos I'm used to where you do do stuff off camera. It's more about the stuff I do off camera is kind of like the content that should be in the video in a sense. So doing a huge gap like this and updating you on everything that's changed isn't as good as upgrading or updating you guys gradually as I go along. That's kind of what I'm trying to say anyway. But uh, yeah, I did train a lot of melee, ranged, and magic. I took breaks in between to, uh, you know, restock gear, ammo, and that sort of stuff. I also did a lot of fishing, but as you can see, I got my fishing up, so now I can fish my own sharks. I was also fishing them for money. I'm not sure how many people will buy sharks now, though, because, once again, dead, but, uh, or inactive. I don't know. There's probably not a lot of people buying and selling, which is going to be really hard, so it's always going to be a bit more like Iron Man now. But I should be able to get by, I hope, or get enough of the stuff and get the rest for myself. So, uh, yeah, I did get my melees up, as you can see. I ended up getting 70 range just because it was the easiest, and I trained mage up as well. I think I just got, like, a whole bunch of, like, uh... I think I just got mind runes and used my chaos runes and just did a whole bunch of, like, fire strikes on guards and Raleka. I also uh, trained range there because since it's a guarded zone... I'm not likely to get attacked there because suiciding, I'm not sure if it was fixed as of last episode or something like that. It's, you know, it has been dealt with a while ago and you're not as likely to be suicided in a guarded zone now. So I did get my range up just because I wanted Black Dragon Hide more than anything so I could look a bit more intimidating. And, you know, even that second it takes for someone to say, ooh, he's level 77, he could have a, you know, high range sort of thing, that could be enough for me to sneak away. So, I don't know. They probably would still attack me anyway, because I expect a lot of people are maxed now, and lots of clans patrolling, and, yeah, Yax is not very safe. It was kind of funny, because originally it was kind of crowded, and then as time went on, it kind of died down, and now there's, like, one person out there who's pretty high level. So, I'm kind of afraid to step out of the safe zone, <laughs> or guarded zone, whatever you call it. So, uh, yeah, I trained my uh, melee magic and ranged. I got my fishing up. I also trained construction, uh, wood cutting, and crafting because I want to progress in Fremnic Isles a bit. And I got to the point now in the quest where, uh, let me just scroll down the quest log. So I got to the point now where I can uh, cure yak hides. And the reason I wanted this is because while I was killing yaks, I was picking up their hides. Uh, when I died uh, from that screenshot I showed earlier, unfortunately I had like 600 yak hides and I'm really annoyed about that. I also had some nature runes. And if you look at my inventory, I did have some gear here. I'll get to that in a second. But the reason that's important is because uh, the first thing I want to do in this episode and one of the reasons I decided to uh, record this before training more is because, uh, let's see, I do have 200 nature runes and... Uh, 300 Yakites, and you can craft this into Yakite armor and alk it, and it will profit from the nature rune. 
So in Dead Man, that's pretty good. So it's pretty much like free magic experience and, you know, kind of like free Aux. And since magic is still one of my protected skills, I think it is anyway. It's been a while since I've been on this. It's actually been like two weeks or so since I probably trained all this stuff because i just been waiting for the right time when I felt like recording more than anything. But I don't know, you can see my stuff here a bit of that. And I did do the Christmas event as well. Uh, I also have some a story to mention about Edgeville. But yeah, I do plan to keep insuring or protecting hit points and non-insuring it just because I would like to go for 99 hit points on here of anything. And I don't know, I feel like insuring that is better than insuring ranged or something because I don't mind training this stuff back up. I'm Either way, when I die, I'm going to lose a lot. And since hit points train is the slowest, I want to keep it protected. So, uh, yeah, but here's my bank now for anyone who was interested in what I have. It's really not much, but I don't know. I really wanted to wait for this episode so I could mention about the Yakai's and kind of do it while recording, though, because I do not want to lose these again. They take a while to kind of build up, and I also lost the crafting level, so I couldn't even make this stuff. I think I have it now, or I'm just short of it if I don't, but I don't know. That's a way to help get my crafting up and get my magic up, and pretty much just I can... Alk them, buy more Nage Runes, then get more Yakites, Alk, and kind of keep repeating that. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, the other things were my gear. Um, I did get a lot of gear that I died and lost some of it, but as you can see, I got Rune Legs, uh, a Dragon Longsword, a DDS. I got the DDS mainly just so I had something else to put in the box of value. And, oh my god, a high level. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, I'm pretty low level for Dead Man now, which is... A bit unfortunate that the polls didn't pass for it, especially the one like 40 levels lower, you don't lose your bank key. But, uh, yeah, so I got D-Long, DDS, Power Aim, Combat Basic, Rune Legs, uh, Runes, Climbing Boots, Phoenix and Games Necklaces, Snake Skin Boots, uh, Dorgenshin Crossbow and Bolts. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I've really got, I think, so it's not that much, but... I don't know, at least it's more than I had last time. And, uh, yeah, so the story about Edgeville stuff, and, oh, I also have in my notes, I got a clue scroll casket. I think for one of these clues, I got the casket, then opened it up, and it wasn't anything of note, or... I think it was the easy clue, I ran north of Falador, and now I have to go to Alcarid, so, um... Yeah, probably not gonna do that anytime soon. Uh, this one I don't think I did anything with, I was in the area, but... Yeah, I never went down to the bridge area yet. So I might try and do that soon, or in one of these videos. But yeah, the Edgeville story. So I don't have any screenshot of this, but... Uh, I went there to start the diary, and to start Dragon Slayer, or progressing Dragon Slayer, whatever I need to do in Dragon Slayer. Actually, where am I in Dragon Slayer? There's something I would like to work at. I have to head back to the Champions Guild. So a lot of these places are still not that safe, or... Well, the entirety of Dead Man Mode is not that active, but still very dangerous if I run into the wrong people. But, uh, yeah. I did, uh start the Wilderness Diary, and also talk to uh, Oziach about Dragon Slayer, however you say his name. And I was going to talk about my uh, kill-death ratio as well. It was just death, so I don't think I've killed anyone. But uh, as I was heading there, I saw this uh, Scald guy teleport to Edgeville, and I tried to get away, he attacked me, and I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I managed to get away without dying. Either I accidentally juked him, or when I said please, he felt kind and decided to spare me. So, I'm not sure what happened there, but pretty much I tried to jump over the wilderness ditch, but I didn't have the warning toggled, so I just broke it for the G instead, and then I think he ended up jumping over the ditch, so maybe that, uh, accidental attempt of escape actually confused him enough to let me actually escape. I think he just failed me though, so I'm not gonna claim any, uh, skill for that. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think this is enough of a introduction to this video. Or, more than enough of an introduction, but it's been a while, so I think it's kind of justified. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to now, uh, cheer the Yakai's and alk them, and, uh, then I'll come back when I'm done with that. So I just finished up uh, crafting those Yakites and alking them, and as you can see, I got about uh, six crafting levels and three magic levels, and I have one left I just want to do on camera here. So if you see, uh, the leg armors and the body armors get the same experience, but the bodies take two highs while the legs take uh, one. So if I do that, I get a pretty good amount of crafting experience, and then I can alk it, and, uh, oh, I probably should have put my money away, but I have, like, uh... 80k now, had like 20k or 25k before, spent like 5k uh, curing the hides, but if I alk it, they alk for 300 coins, which is less than the cost of nature runes, I believe, or last I saw anyway, so yeah, it's pretty much free alks, but now that I got that done, I think I want to go and do, I'm not sure exactly, because I was building my account towards quests, 
but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get myself killed if I go do a quest or I'm not very high level I do have money and I would like to invest that so I think I might try and go pick up some uh, black dragon hide if I can because I should have enough law rooms to teleport yeah so I think I'm gonna try and pick up some black dragon hide or something just so I have a bit better gear and less money that's gonna be lost on death because that's a lot of money to lose uh, I do have another hundred uh, legs, or I've made two bodies, two legs, and that leaves 99 more legs. I could uh, actually cure that and make one more so it's an even hundred. So I might even try and get another hundred elks and do them real quick. So, uh, yeah. But I think I'm just going to go to uh, the trade section in Varrock. I'm already on the world, I think. And uh, see what I can get there. And then I'm going to try and do some quests. I really would love to do recruitment drive so I can get initiate. Uh work on my RFD gloves, do the gnome quest, and all sorts of that sign of stuff. I even would like to try and do my slayer task and uh, get the 10k from the Strong Cove security, because I think that's probably not going to be camped much anymore, because, well, yeah, there's not many people playing dead man. I don't think there's going to be that many people down there. So, I don't know. Either way, uh, yeah, I'm going to head to the trade world and cut back when some, or the trade area, not the trade world, and uh, try and spend this money, maybe do some more elks, and then uh, cut back when something interesting happens. It's been a while since I've been here to the trade area of uh, Dead Man, and, um, yeah, it, it's pretty dead. There's, like, no one on the range or mage sections anymore. I see a ton of people buying nature runes, but no one's selling. And there's just not a lot of people selling or buying things in general, which is kind of to be expected. So that, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm really going to get much. At best, maybe I can pick up something like an Archer's Helm or a Berserker Helm, or a Nita's Knot even, even though I can't wear that, just so I can put some more money in my safe deposit box. But uh, I think I have to do most of my trading on, like, uh, off-site forms or whatnot to try and get Black Dehyde, because I don't see anyone selling that. I'm kind of surprised, because I thought that would be a lot more commonly sold still, because it is, like, one of the most common pieces of PK gear I'd expect. But, uh, yeah, there's just isn't a lot being sold. So I'm going to try and uh, spend this money on something, and uh, then we can go to Quest, I guess. Okay, so I'm now heading towards uh, the Stronghold Security. I really hope that isn't a, a hot spot anymore. There's not many people there, but I would like to finish my Slayer task. I believe it's Minotaur, so I'm just going to be killing them. And I'm going to try and get to the end and get the 10k and finish that off as well. But uh, yeah, I did manage to pick up a Berserker Helm for 50k. It seemed like a reasonable price. I assume that Helms of uh, Nature is not going to have lowered its value, but it, I can always out it for, I think, like 36k. So it's not a huge loss, and it will give me a better Helm for training and such. Uh, I do like the Fremnik Helm, because it's untradeable and I can... Or I got a whole bunch while training on the Raleka Guards. I forgot to mention that. I got uh, Fremnik Blades, Shields, and Helms. I really am worried that there's going to be like a clan hidden here, though, because it is multi. But, uh... Yeah. Okay, so I am in the Stronghold of Security. And, uh, yeah, I need to kill Minotaurs. But, uh, I also did uh, swing by the Champions Guild and, uh, got the, um... Dragon Slayer stuff started, but since these doors are going to ask questions, I probably it's probably not going to be that easy to record it. And mm hmm. So uh, yeah, I think I might want to hop, but uh, I don't know. I'll see how things are here. They probably saw me though. But anyways, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to try making my way through this, and if uh. I do get attacked or anything, or anything interesting happens, I'll start recording again, but that's my plan for the moment. So I managed to finish my Slayer task and get to the end of the second floor here, and got a few Slayer levels in the process, but I think I'm going to bail out now because uh, one person warned me there was a Skull player, and I did see a Skull player coming in, and I think I could take them, but I only brought a Mithril Scimitar with me. So I think I really need to run back and get a Dragon Dagger at least if I'm going to try and fight him. Because I could get a Lucky Speck and just kill him. And he's probably not wanting to mess with someone who's actually prepared to fight with as much food as I do around his level. But I think for the moment I'm just going to bail on out of here. And uh, yeah. And up once more. And now we're in Barbarian Village. Uh, I actually think I'm going to run over to Falador. Because even though it's multi, I'm not expecting to see a clan, and then I can try doing recruitment drive or something. I don't know. I kind of wanted to finish uh, the stronghold and kind of wrap up the episode there or keep this a shorter episode just because uh, I'm actually just recording this the day before. And would like to get an episode out just so, you know, the series is back and not delay it a long time just to get a whole bunch of clips. But, uh, yeah. But I would like to at least work on some more quests and do a bit more than just out buy stuff and run around because that seems to be all I've done and I am probably still pretty newbie for Dead Man or a lot of series that still are going in Dead Man are probably a lot further along than I am but uh, okay we're in Fador I can stop running now 
But uh, yeah, I think I am going to go try and do recruitment drive though. And uh, yeah, I'll cut back to when I finish with that or something else of interest. Okay, so that took a bit longer than it should have, but I have just completed recruitment drive and maybe would have got another level as well. Uh, and I should have got the, yeah, voucher. I got the helmet too, which I can always alk or something. I think I might just buy the full set of armor. I don't know. I think for the moment I might actually not buy the armor because I don't really need it, or I think uh, the whole uh, dehyde and rune like I have is good enough for the moment. So, uh, yeah, but I completed recruitment drive anyway, and I got a nice new helm and a voucher, and I'm probably going to go change my gender back right now, because, yeah, I just hope it doesn't mess up my outfit, because I don't want to have to waste money getting my hair and such back to how I had it before, and, you know, just as a bit of trivial, but it bothers me when they get it wrong, or maybe they like the uh, beard, so I don't know, I might have to spend a bit of money on that, although better spend it on that than to die and lose it I suppose so yeah but that's one more quest down and still a lot to go for that quest cape and I probably should also get armor since I'm heading out of a safe zone so uh yeah well, I'm back to my normal gender, and everything's pretty much normal. Uh, my hair was pretty much uh, correct, I just needed to get the beard fixed, and the top was changed. I think I usually have the split top, but I don't know, when I'm in Varrock I can fix that. But before I end the episode of Sat, I did want to go and do Ernest the Chicken and Vampire Slayer, because I don't think anyone's going to be at Drainer Manor, really. I don't know, maybe someone's going to be hunting out here with a skull, and if so, I might be in trouble, but I did remember to bring my DDS this time. I don't know, it's kind of something I don't want to lose, because they are kind of costly last I saw, and... With how few people are trading, it's probably going to be hard to get it back. Uh, did I start? Yeah, I started it. So, I think I'm going to do Ernest the Chicken, then finish up with Vampire Slayer. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I don't run into anyone while doing it. But, uh, if anything does happen, I'll just cut back to that. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, just finish up these, uh, quests. Okay, so this should be the end of Ernest the Chicken. And, uh, let's see... There we go, the end of Ernest the Chicken. So now I just have to go downstairs and finish Vampire Slayer, which should not be too hard considering how uh, over-leveled I am for the vampire. Or, I don't know, probably very over-leveled. Or Usually you do the quest a lot sooner, but since it's Dead Man, I didn't really want to come here earlier on. But now that Dead Man isn't as active, it's less likely I run into a player. Although if I come down with a DDS and there's someone here, hopefully I can at least scare him out, but no one's here. Okay. So this should be a very quick fight. And uh, I forget if I have to use the stake or not. I know, I think like an older version. Oh, wow, he's just, I don't even need to spec him, do I? And also, I think this is the first time I'm using a DDS uh, spec in uh, old school. So let's see, does that just kill him? I think I do have to use the stake on him. Oh, nope, I don't. So there we go, Vampire Slayer done too. And oh, no levels. <laughs> really wouldn't expect a level. Or yeah, I'm still way off that level. Not sure why I went and go, but, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, two more free-to-play quests down, and, uh, yeah, I'm at least making some progress. It's gonna take a while at this pace, but, I don't know, hopefully as the series goes on, I can, uh, pick up the pace, do more quests per video or such, and get more stuff prepared, and, uh, yeah, but I think I'm gonna head back to, uh, Falador now and wrap up the episode there. Okay, so to end off this uh, Dead Man Net Progress video, I decide I am going to buy Initiate Armor. I don't want to set my respawn here, by the way, because, I don't know, I feel Lumbridge is safer because it's not multi. But my plan is I'm actually going to buy the box set for 20k using most of my money because I think I can put that in my deposit box. So that way I have a, a full set of armor there taking up one spot. And, I don't know, later I could always swap it out for something else. I would like to get a proselyte. But uh, for the moment, I think that's how you pronounce the word anyway, proselyte, proselyte, whatever. But for the moment, I can't only uh, do this. Uh, that's also a reason why I'd like to train Slayer. Oops, uh, I want to put it in. Uh, there we go, deposit wizard. So I should be able to put it in there. Yep. So this is now my deposit box. And uh, this is now my risk and stats and quest points. So I don't know. I think I'm making a pretty decent progress, or at least considering how long I've been gone. I think this is a pretty decent comeback. But, uh, yeah, sorry that the videos were, or sorry there was such a big gap in Deadman videos there, but now that I kind of have eased myself back into this, I think I would like to try recording this more and try and do at least a couple episodes a month if I can, or something like that. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I can start making some better progress, though, towards, uh, my goal, and hopefully that the not very active, uh, Deadman mode worlds will, uh, make it a bit easier for me to get this done than before. I u't know, I know sooner or later I'm gonna run into, like, a big clan or something, because there are still peak heirs. I didn't see that one skull guy, so... Yeah, but I also really would like to get some kills soon, too. That's kind of why I wanted to carry around the DDS with me, because if I had it with me in the Stronghold, I actually probably would have went after that guy or went down there and attacked him if he attacked me anyway. 
But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, Dead Man Progress video, and until next time, goodbye.